How to use Firebase Authentication to build a sign-up screen in Flutter for creating a user account with an email and a password. In the last video we have created this login widget that you see here on the right side and with which we can sign in a user to Firebase. Now under the sign in button we want to create a rich text widget and with this if we click on the sign up text then we want to switch to the sign up screen and therefore if we click on this text ban then we want to listen to the on tap handler and then we want to call this on clicked sign up and this is what we want to handle outside of this widget therefore I add this void callback. Next, within the main page where we have implemented this login widget we want to exchange it by an auth page. And inside this auth page we want to have a boolean flag and depending on if the flag is set to true then we show the login widget otherwise we want to show a new sign up widget that we want to create. And in both cases we want to implement this on clicked sign up so if we click on this text and also on the sign up screen we will implement something similar and if this is the case that we click on it then we want to toggle this is login field and basically change the status. And lastly, we only need to implement the signup widget. And the signup widget works exactly the same as the login widget. So right now, if I click on the signup text, then we go to the signup page. And this works exactly the same. So here we have also, again, two text fields. Below it, we have a button. This time, it's only called signup instead. And below it, we also have this rich text. However, the text is a bit different. So here it calls then login. And if we click on it, then we also call this widget on clicked sign in. So all in all, we can now toggle between the login screen and the sign up screen. And now if we click on the sign up button, then we want to create with this email and password that we have provided a new account on our Firebase authentication server. Therefore, if we click on the sign up button, we call the sign up method. And here inside, we call this time the create user with email and password method from the Firebase auth package. And the same as before, we need to put the email and password inside with which we want to create the user account. Also, before we create this account, we want to show again a loading indicator. And after we have created this account, we want to hide this loading indicator again. Let's also test it out. I'm on the sign up screen and I have given here an email and a password. And now if we click on sign up, then he should create a new account and he is also logging us directly inside of this account. And also if we refresh the page within our Firebase console, then you see that he has created here this new account. Next, we want to do some minor improvements such as if we click on the sign up button, then it should show us here an error in case we haven't completed the form. To add this validation, we go first of all to our email field and we change it to a text form field. And with this, you can add some validation for your email field. And we use here the email validator package to validate our email. And in case our email is not valid, then we want to show an error message, enter a valid email. Otherwise, the email is valid. And the same thing we also do for our password field. Here we change it to a text form field, add also a validator property. And here we make sure that the password has at least six characters. Otherwise, if it doesn't have six characters, then we show an error message. And lastly, to make this validation work of your text form fields, therefore we go up to the column, which is wrapping both of these text form fields. And here we wrap it then inside of a form widget, give it some form key that we define within our state as this global key. And lastly, we can then use this form key inside of our sign up method. Here we check then if our form is valid with the help of the form key. And if it is not valid, then we want to return this one and we will not execute this code to create a user account with Firebase. With this, if I click this time on the sign up button, then it says we need to put a valid email inside and a valid password. And once we enter a valid email and password, then we can again sign up our user account. Another issue that we need to handle is the case that we put an email inside that is already created within our Firebase authentication server. If this is the case and I click on the sign up button, then he will not create this account because it is already created. And therefore we want to display an error message to the user that the account was already created. To create this error message, we simply go to the sign up method that is called if we click on the sign up button. And here in case something goes wrong during the sign up, 
then we are going here inside of this try catch. And here we want to simply display then this error message inside of our screen. Therefore, we want to create a new utils class to show a snack bar. Let's also create the utils class with the show snack bar method. Here we create a snack bar and this gets the text, which is in our case, the error message. And then we use a messenger key to display the snack bar. Let's also define this messenger key here at the top, which is a global key. And lastly, within the main file, within the material app, we want to reference then this messenger key that we have created in our utils class. With this, after hot restarting the application, we can again click on the sign up button and we get this time an error message that the email is already in use. And also some other error messages are displayed in case some errors occurs, we always display it to the user in the UI. For the login screen, we have exactly the same issue. So if we put an email inside that is not yet created within our Firebase authentication server, and then we click on the sign in button, then we get no error message. And this is what we want to change. Simply go to the sign in method of the login widget. And here, when we sign in the user and some error occurs, then we also want to display this error in our snack bar. With this, if I click this time on the sign in button, then we get an error message that there is no such user that we are currently trying to log in.